Hello and welcome to Press Review in Depth. Let's learn more about the EU's resolution on Iran's human rights record. Our monitor writes that Iran goes on defensive over human rights as hardliners in the country reject the latest EU resolution. Ali Reza Ramazani writes that an EU resolution passed on April the 3rd condemned restrictions on almost every social activity in Iran, including freedom, freedom of information, of association, of expression, of assembly, of religion, academic freedom, freedom of education and freedom of movement. He added fear that the EU resolution could shift the focus of talks from the nuclear issue to other areas such as human rights, defence capabilities or foreign policy. He concludes, should European states miscalculate in pressing Iran too much over human rights, they may fail to regain the ground they lost in competition with their historic rival Russia. And Iran's Fast News writes that Iran's judiciary chief Sadiq Amoli Larajani has hit back against the resolution, labelling it as worthless. He said the resolution is worthless and is not worth attention, but it showed the arrogant nature of the Westerners under such conditions that they claim serious negotiations with the Islamic Republic of Iran. The article adds that Larajani dismissed EU claims that Iran executes children under 18 and says the Europeans' move has angered officials in Tehran as it has been ad adopted after the Western states voiced their consent and pleasure in the betterment of ties with Iran following a breakthrough deal over Tehran's nuclear program. Iranian lawmakers have apparently worked on retaliatory measures in their plan of action. The lawmakers have called on the government of Iranian President Hassan Rouhani to take tit-for-tat measures against each and every European country which has signed the resolution. The article added the bill also underlines that the government will be duty-bound to reconsider its cooperation with the UN Human Rights Commission for as long as the Western countries ignore human and Islamic culture and rights and adopt a double standard policy in this regard. An opposing statement was signed by 258 Iranian parliamentarians. And for more updates please visit Levant.tv. Thanks for watching, bye for now.